Chapter Six of Bizarre by Lawton McCall. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Nick Bulka and Herman Roscombs. Jury Bar. New and better ideas of child education are steadily making their way. Nearly everyone now acknowledges that the schoolroom should be primarily a place of entertainment that the true vocation of the teacher is to amuse in an instructive manner and that study is really a scientific form of play also it is quite generally admitted that methods which involve mental effort on the part of the child are not to be tolerated so much progress has already been made but now there has just appeared a book which bids fair to carry the educational advance as far ahead again. This book, entitled A Baseball Primer of French, substitutes for the conventional pedantry of conjugations, syntax, etc., a vivid account in French of an imaginary world series. Any boy who studies it will understand it instinctively. For if the foreign text prove obscure, he has only to read the English translation underneath. The author, Speed Stevens, who, it may be remembered, was captain of his college nine, shows a profound knowledge of baseball. Indeed, it is on account of his ability as athletic coach that he holds his position of instructor in French at Croton. The following extract gives an inkling of the rare pedagogical value of the book. Dans le dixième point, avec deux hommes, in the tenth period, with two men, sur base et un sorti, Harburg éventa, alors, on bases and one out, Harburg fanned. Then, Bill le rosseur ramassa sa chauve souris et, Bill the walloper picked up his bat and, marcha à grands pas à l'assiette. Hank strode to the plate. Hank Harrigan, vrai à ses lauriers de plus grand. Harrigan, true to his laurels as the greatest. Vivant tournoyeur, sud patte. Partit avec un. Living southpaw twirler. Started off with a. Tiré dedans, qui faisait zip zip. En taillant une. Zipping in shoot. Scoring a frappe. Le suivant fut un bal. Du gant au strike. The next a ball. Dugan on premier descendit avec son bras et vola la first went down with his arm and stole deuxième base. Mais Brown fut mis en dehors. Second base. But Brown was put out. Au troisième. Alors la cruche mis en dessus. At third. Then the pitcher put over. Un bal saliveux. Frappe de puis vinrent. A spitball. Strike two. Then came. Encore deux balles. Le compte était maintenant. Two more balls. The count was now. Trois à deux et les éventails s'asseyaient sans haleine. Three to two, and the fans sat breathless. Bill assomma une longue mouche qui tomba. Bill knocked out a long fly, which fell. Volaille. Il suiva celle-ci avec une volaille. Foul. He followed this with a pop. Popeuse. Qui l'aurait fini n'eût été un. Fly. That would have finished him manchon stupide de la part de l'attrapeur but for a stupid muff by the catcher harrigan devenait grincé et cataway harrigan was becoming rattled and cataway voiturant de la ligne de côte lui criait bras coaching from the sideline yelled at him glass de verre il monte il monte la arm he's going up he's going up the Cruche envoya une goutte facile. Bill débarqua. Pitcher sent an easy drop. Bill landed là-dessus carrément. 
le menant par-dessus la on it squarely, driving it over the tête de l'arête court, loin dans le champ. Short stops head, far into left. Gauche. C'était un oiseau d'une frappe. Dugan. Field. It was a bird of a hit. Dugan. Entailla et puis Bill, gaiement cerclant, les scored and then Bill, gaily circling the the sacks, glissa sauf chez soi pendant que les bags slid safe home as the blanchisseur allait sauvage. Bleachers went wild. End of chapter six.